Today's video is made possible by A-Data. Their new Premier Pro SP920 SSDs feature blazing fast speeds and sizes up to one terabyte. For more information, check out the link below. Tech fans, good morning. That's right, it's 6 a.m. here at Tech of Tomorrow. We've got some pretty exciting news to bring you folks. NVIDIA has finally released their brand new GeForce Experience 2.0. Now, this thing started off a year ago in 2013 and made a lot of advancements since then. In 2013, it started out kind of like this. They had 80 games with 1 million installs. Then by October, they released Shadowplay, GameStream, had 100 games available for download and had 15 million installs. By November, they had adjustable DPS, 120 games, 18 million installs. Then in December of 2013, they released Twitch Broadcast. They had at that time 130 games available and 24 million installs had been done. Well, folks, today it's April 7th, 2014. There's going to be four new things we're going to be talking about, about GeForce Experience 2.0. The first one is Shadow Play on Notebooks, Game Stream on Notebooks, battery boost, and desktop capture. At this time, you can download up to 150 games and there's been 30 million installs of this software. Now let's talk about these features in depth. Now the first of these features is Shadow Play. Now Shadow Play has been around quite a while on the PC, but now it's moving over to the notebook for the very first time. And there's gonna be some pretty key features that are there that haven't been available before all the way across the board. The first of these is one-click game capture. The next is one-click broadcast to Twitch, minimal performance overhead. We'll also see full desktop capture capabilities. This will be great for capturing windowed and borderless windowed games. Support for DirectX and OpenGL and supported on desktop GPUs by NVIDIA. There's even more. Now you get custom encoding with custom output resolution, custom bitrate and frame rate, auto pause on alt tab, broadcast 720p at 60 frames per second and auto game naming. Next up is Game Stream. Now, Game Stream is going to be really cool because basically what you're going to be able to do now is take your shield and go anywhere you want to a friend's house, to the, you know, anywhere basically where they have access to a PC, Xbox, or any of that type of stuff. You'll be able to automatically stream your games and play them off of your shield. Now, this is going to be pretty cool stuff. I'm going to hand that over to Captain Kevin next week and let him bring you guys a full demo of that stuff. And that's going to be really, really interesting. Currently, this is in its beta format. Results will have to be seen as we start doing the testing and see how it goes. So make sure you look out for that as well. Now, next up is battery performance. This is a battery boost. And let's talk a little bit about that as well. NVIDIA's battery boost will be completely automatic running in the background of your system, and it'll give you up to two times longer gaming. So what this means, folks, is for those of you out there who have a laptop and you're always doing laptop gaming, now this thing's going to go in. It's going to make sure it creates the settings that best create the longest lifetime for your gaming. So if it can shut something off in the background that you're not using or something like that, it's going to automatically do it so that you get the absolute longest gaming life possible. And it's all automatic. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. Early in the morning on April 7th here, 2014, for you people who are watching, hey, thanks for being here. GeForce Experience 2.0, it is here. It is real. You can download it and install it on your computer. So for those folks out there who are NVIDIA fans, you've got something to look forward to today. All kinds of new stuff. And if you're a laptop guy... Come on, you're in. GeForce Experience is all about you now, as you guys can see, because basically the new 2.0 is geared a lot towards the notebook and for those people who are always on the go with that kind of stuff. Now, there's more exciting stuff coming here on Tech of Tomorrow today. Brand new driver, 337.50 is coming out from NVIDIA. It supports DirectX 12 and is supposed to offer a shit ton of performance over 335.23. We're going to have that comparison for you here on Tech of Tomorrow very soon today. So I hope you guys like this video. All the information about this will also be down in the link below in the description where I have a full article where you can see all the pictures of this in slow-mo. You know, we have to look at them to actually watch the video and I'll have an article about that. If you guys like this video, hey, you guys know what to do. Go karate style, kung fu style, or just plain and simple, hit that like button. If not, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you guys are here anyways. I gotta have another cup of coffee to stay awake and bring you the next video. So stay tuned to Tech of Mars. If you're not such, you know what to do.